the high bluff there. See the clay deposits? Yep. That's what the uh, Native Americans would use to make pottery. Perfect day out on the river. Yeah, it sure is. It's overcast. The sun's not beating down on us. No boats. Just the sounds of nature. Good place as any. Tie the uh, the canoe on this tree right here. Right. Last thing we want is that sucker to drift away. Yeah. We're in the middle of the jungle here. Mm -hmm. If there was truly a Sasquatch or a Florida skunk ape, this is where you would see it. We'll follow you, sir. See any alligators? Nope. But one can never know. This part of the mound here that we're at is part of a shell mitten. And the production site was just over the way Not there. Not too far. So let's go ahead and take a closer look over this area here, see if we can find anything interesting. Well, there's those two, that can, that Ritz-Cola can and that antique bottle you found over here. Yep, we got that antique bottle right there that we're used to seeing all up and along the sides of the river. and. An old Ritz Cola can. Yeah, it's a tin can too. And I don't know what these bottles are. I see a lot of these up and down different rivers. Yeah, I've seen a few of them as well. Exploring further into the wilderness here, we came across an area that looked like it was a production site. see that there's material that the natives utilized for stone tools and weapons. You can see lots of material here, limestone, possibly some chert. Yeah, it looks like the rain. There's been a lot of rain in here. Very interesting. Well, they knew how to live off the land, that's for sure. They sure do. Some tough terrain to navigate through. Yeah, it is. You definitely expect to get your feet wet. You just got to be careful where you're walking because you don't want to sink into this mud. Yeah, but the positive thing, you can see what's in front of you. Whether there are snakes or not.
You all right? I will be. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> Oh man! <laughs> this is a real jungle safari That's here. It is, man. When you get out here in the swamps. All right. Oh, now my phone got wet. Just a little bit. Not too bad. Everything just falls apart as soon as you touch it. All right, there we go. Sweet. The log. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Gotta push this back. Didn't look like that's a good way to go anyway. Well, we tipped the canoe. Yeah, we did. But we made it back, and we also retrieved all the property, too. Yeah, well, the river really was something. moving quick. It took yeah, everything. It I, I'm glad I had the life vest on because uh, one will never know if uh, one would have drowned. That's right. As soon as I hit the water, I didn't have my life vest on, and these boots sucked me all the way down the water. I was fully and submerged. That and water underwater. was deep. It was. <laughs> And it always seems to happen right at the shore. <laughs> it always happens at the shore. Always. Well, now we know. Keep the keep the life vests on. Keep the the book the uh, the rucksack uh, strapped to the preserver. That way yep. you you can retrieve all your gear. Absolutely. Keep it zip tied. That way, if it yep. the life preserver keeps it afloat. Absolutely. See, if we wouldn't have been able to rescue the rucksack, unfortunately. 21st century would have lost his wallet, you know, and that would have caused such an inconvenience. I mean, what are you going to do without your wallet, right? Yeah, that would have really stunk. Yeah. Well, now we know. Absolutely.